So my June 1st nighttime trail race is five days away as I record this. So I thought I would give you a little training update. Where am I? And do I even think I'm going to be able to do the race? Hi, I'm Ralph and welcome to Aegis Runner. Hey, thank you so much for being here today. I enjoy running and sharing what I, what I learn about running. If you feel the same way, please consider subscribing. Thank you. So if you saw my last video on what happens to your body when you take a, take a break, take time off, you know I said I caught a cold. In fact, today is day 14. So most of the cold symptoms are behind me except for a lingering cough. But of course, my energy level is not back to normal. So I'm doing an easy run today. This is Monday. The race is Saturday. Probably do one more easy run. Uh, optimistic, I'll do the race. Now, you, you may recall if you watched that video, I decided to drop back from a half marathon to a 10K. That'll be easier to do. This trail is not that hard. I've run a much harder trail, so I think I'll be able to do six miles. Uh, we'll see come Friday or Saturday. But I thought I'd give you a little update on where am I in my training, what do I think my training is as far as the status, and how, what kind of shape my body's in. Now, as I said, this is a nighttime trail race. In fact, the 10K starts at 8 p.m. Now, on that particular day, sunset is at 9 p.m. Now, if you've ever been in the forest in the evening, you know it gets a lot darker sooner than sunset. So I think even 8 o'clock will be pretty dark in the forest, and I imagine by 8.30 it'll be pretty dark enough where we'll need headlamps. And that's kind of one of the reasons I wanted to do this race. I wanted to go out and run the forest at night, see what that's like. Now, I was going to do this same race back in January. Don't you know the day before that race, I came down with a cold. I, I don't know, maybe the universe is trying to tell me something. And both times I got this cold, a few days before that, I was at my grandkids at school, and of course schools are cesspools of germs, right? I don't know if that's where I got it, but uh, it seems very probable. But at least this time I had the good sense to get it uh, you know, over, over two and a half weeks before the race. So hopefully I'll be over and we'll be a go for this race. So about a month ago, I did an eight-mile trail run on the same trail this race is at, and that went very well. And then about seven or eight days after that, I did a 10-mile road run. So I think I've got enough distance in to do a 10K. I got a couple of long runs in, you know, within the last month. I think my body's ready for the distance. The question in my mind is going to be, what's my energy level going to be like? As I said, this race starts at 8. Well, at 8 o'clock, you know, your body starts to get tired, especially my age. And recovering from a cold even makes it a little worse. So that will be the big decision factor for me. When it comes to race day, am I going to have the energy to go out at 8 o'clock at night and run 6 miles? Now, one good thing about this two-week break I've taken is allowed all the little aches and pains in my body to heal up. I was having a little bit of soreness in my IT band. Well, that's kind of gone now. So that was a plus for taking time off. So hopefully, uh, you know, I won't make things worse when I do this race. Now, I do plan to bring my action camera. In fact, I got a new one recently. It's a DJI Osmo Action 4. It's kind of a competitor to a GoPro, only uh, it's got a little better low light capabilities. I did not get it for the race. I got it for other reasons, but I'm going to try it on the race. Of course, it'll be dark. I'll have light, so we'll see how well I can film in the middle of the forest at nighttime and see how that looks. But I do plan to bring it, uh, kind of make a record of the event and how it goes. And, of course, I'll share that at a later date. Now, if I do this race, this will be my first organized race since October of 2022. I did not do a race last year, and there were several reasons for that that we don't need to go into today. So I'm hoping to really pull this off. I'm, I'm trying to break this dry spell and actually do a race. It ought to be fun. I'd love to go out and run the trail at night. Uh, my daughter's doing it with me. Uh, she also decided to drop down the 10K. Her, her training's not exactly where she wanted, so we're gonna be doing it together. I always enjoy doing it with my daughter. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate you being here today. Uh, if you like this video, please scroll down and hit the like icon. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you stick around and be a subscriber. Please, please click that subscribe button also. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.